Hello there, my name is Joey Gaming. I am a YouTube commentary channel that does Let's Plays and Minecraft role plays. For the past seven years, I've been creating content for YouTube and a few other platforms, mainly TikTok as well. The seven past years of Joey Gaming have been absolutely incredible. During those seven years, I have learned so much about creating content and my self as well. I have learned so many valuable lessons and if it wasn't for YouTube, I wouldn't have a lot of the personal connections I have even in my own town because of YouTube. Right now, we are in the state of Idaho at home. It's currently April. Right now, it doesn't look like April. Right now, Idaho is going through an anomaly where we're going, where we're getting more snow than usual. So there's a lot of snow. Usually at this time of year in April, there would be no snow. But since, you know, uh, 2023 is weird when it comes to the weather, we have all this snow. So uh, mine are all the snow. Usually April, right? Why I like April so much, it comes down to the greens, right? the plants right and it's just perfect it's not too hot not too cold and uh, this year it's been a little cold right but to be fair today was really really warm which is helping melting the snow so that's really good but in here in idaho and utah it, it kind of sucks but hopefully in the next two to three weeks it'll be all gone anyway anyways enough of the snow let's go ahead and talk about the channel of joey gaming at the very beginning, I always wanted to be a YouTuber, right? Like back in 2012, 2013, like 10 or nine years ago, I wanted to be a YouTube channel. I wanted to run a YouTube channel, be a YouTuber. I would watch uh, Dan TDM, Stumpy Long Nose, and all these other creators. And I would ask my parents, hey, can I have a YouTube channel? And they would always say no. And on my 12th birthday, they said, hey, you know what? I think you're old enough to start a YouTube channel. And I knew what I wanted to do. And I decided on the name Joey Gaming. There wasn't really a lot of thought behind the name Joey Gaming. The reason I went with Joey Gaming is that, first of all, my name is Joey, right? Um, my real name is actually Joseph, but I like, to be, I like to be called Joey. That was just my nickname growing up. Gaming is the reason I chose gaming was because I like gaming and there's nothing really special to that Like there's not any hidden meaning meaning in Joey gaming. That's that's just my name. Just Joey gaming really so That's the start uh, a little bit of fun trivia when I first started YouTube my YouTube channel Joey gaming the J isn't capitalized it wasn't until three or four years later when I decided, hey, you know what? I'm going to capitalize the J. And that's what I did. I capitalized the J. I was in middle school when I fixed that. And uh, what's really crazy about my YouTube channel is I started this channel when I, when I was in middle school, in my sixth grade, right? In sixth grade. And now I have graduated high school last year and plan on going to college soon, hopefully in the fall. And it's just amazing. Like, honestly, if 2016 Joey saw where I was today, he would be very, very impressed with the amount of stuff I have, com uh, I have accom accomplished. So it's absolutely insane what I have done. Now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and take you guys into... Minecraft and I want to go ahead and announce some big stuff regarding some Minecraft role plays. Then after that, I will go ahead and have a very special segment of the video. So, see you guys there. All right, we are officially in Minecraft now. And as you can see, I have a brand new Minecraft skin to go with the outfit at the very beginning of the video. But that's not what you guys are here for. Let me go ahead and announce the new Minecraft role plays for 2023 and 2024. First things first, I'm happy to announce that 2023 is going to be a big year for Joey Gaming Minecraft role plays. There's going to be a roadmap for the Minecraft role plays, but I will not be revealing that roadmap today. Later down the road, I will be revealing this map once I get uh, more 
uh, stuff done around these Minecraft role plays and take more videos and actually record trailers, but there's a lot of work in the works. So, uh, yeah, the first Minecraft role plays that I want to announce are the Minecraft SCP role plays. Yes, there's going to be multiple. I'm happy to announce that there's going to be a season three, a season four, and a season five. Season three will start on May 20th, 2023. And season 5 will come out sometime in September of 2023. And season 4 will come out in the middle, in between these two dates. So, probably sometime in the summer, really. So, uh, yeah. I will not be showing any images for season 4 and season 5 today. However, I do have a trailer for season 3, The Chaos War, that I will show you right now. Alright, that was the trailer for the Minecraft SCP Season 3 series. A little bit more information about SCP Season 3 The Chaos War. This Minecraft roleplay will take place shortly after the events of Season 2. The main character is still July Smith. He survives the events of Season 2 and is sent undercover at a Chaos Insurgency base to collect intel and to sabotage the base so the SCP Foundation can invade and, t and recapture the SCPs captured during Season 2. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and announce the new, another new Minecraft roleplay. Right now, you probably have already noticed, but I'm on the Polar Express, or the set piece used for the Minecraft Polar Express roleplay. And that's because the Minecraft Polar Express roleplay has been the most popular Minecraft roleplay for 2021 and 2022. For whatever reason, actually I think I already know the reason, but, the, but for whatever reason, the Polar Express Minecraft roleplay has been getting a lot of traction. Like honestly, 
after I was expecting for this Minecraft roleplay to stop growing and getting views after December, but no. It turns out there's a lot of train people who love the Polar Express and that they would also watch my Polar Express video. So as of right now, there are people still watching the Minecraft Polar Express roleplay even though it's not Christmas. And that's just absolutely incredible. Like I would check my analytics and see that this Minecraft series has around 1,000 to 2,000. It probably has more than that now, honestly. It's been a while last time I checked. But all I'm saying is that the Minecraft Polar Express roleplay did insanely well when it comes to performance. And it is even doing well in the algorithm with people that like trains, which also kind of sucks because uh, I do commentary videos and gaming videos and it's getting pushed out the train people and then, you know, people are subscribed for the for the Minecraft Polar Express stuff. So, I don't know. It, it's a double-edged sword. Like, it's growing my channel, but at the same time, it kind of sucks because uh, for obvious reasons. But... I'm glad that you're here, right? I, I make videos for myself. I, ma I have a lot of fun making videos. So, uh, yeah, that's it. That's what it is. Anyways, let's focus back on the Minecraft roleplays. Since the Minecraft Polar Express roleplay was a huge success and people liked it, I get lots of likes, a lot of comments, and subscribers from it, I'm happy to announce that I'm going to be doing another Minecraft Christmas roleplay. This new Minecraft Christmas roleplay is the Minecraft Home Alone uh, is the Minecraft Home Alone roleplay. So yes, you heard that right. I'm doing my own version of the Home Alone movie slash TV series. Well, it wasn't really a TV series. It was more of a movie, but you get the point. I'm doing my own version of Home Alone. And I'm pr basically doing what I did with the Polar Express series, where I take this Christmas story, right, and I modify elements to be unique to my own brand. For example, when I did the whole Minecraft Polar Express series, I changed some elements to include Krampus and a few other things. Expect the same treatment for the Home Alone Minecraft roleplay. And if you're wondering, yes, this Christmas Minecraft roleplay will take place in the same universe as the Polar Express. And this goes for any future Minecraft Christmas roleplays. Any future Minecraft roleplays, Christmas roleplays that come after Home Alone are in the same universe. Basically, all the Minecraft Christmas, Minecraft uh, Christmas roleplays, uh, excluding the Pink Sheep series, take place in the same universe. And basically, I don't know. I just want to have all my Christmas stories be linked in one big universe, and that's what's going to be going on. Unfortunately, I don't have a trailer for the Minecraft Home Alone series. However, I have already started building some of the sets and I have a story in the works. So I'm super excited about that. But what, but I, what, but what I will show you is a small teaser image. Right here, this is the house that is going to be used for the Minecraft Home Alone Minecraft roleplay. So with that, that's all the information regarding the Minecraft Home Alone roleplay. Now let's go ahead and cut cut to a new announcement that isn't Minecraft roleplay related. Don't worry, I will be back and I will go back and announce more Minecraft roleplays, but there's a few other things I want to announce about the channel. So let's go ahead and cut to that. All right, we are now officially back in Idaho in real life. Well, in reality, I was just outside recording, then I recorded stuff on Minecraft, and then uh, then I started recording a webcam video. But let's, let's just pretend I was in Minecraft, okay? For real, though, I have a big announcement that is going to forever change the history of Joey Gaming. Let's roll the clock back to April 15th, 2019. You see, before that date, Joey Gaming was in its infancy. My logo was totally different. I'll show a pic of what it used to look like. It was really basic, and it's kind of bad, really. But I do have some nostalgic for it, though, so I will say that. During this time, I will upload. I would have uploaded anything and everything. Like, I made prank videos. I uploaded vlogs. I uploaded... 
random gaming videos. Like, uh, like I just threw everything I can think of to see what would stick, right? And over time, that strategy to figure out what my channel was kind of uh, formed the YouTube channel into three camps. People who are subscribed for commentary, people who are subscribed for Minecraft roleplays, and the people that are subscribed for Let's Plays. And now I have these three audiences, right? However, majority, the, the, the two larger audiences are the commentary and the Minecraft roleplays, and I think the commentary uh, crowd is a little larger than the Minecraft roleplays, uh, but I do have a decent amount of people who are subscribed for the Minecraft roleplays. But at this time, my channel was a lot smaller, and I even believed I was even below a, 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 a thousand subscribers uh, before 2019. Wait, no, no, actually, no. I hit a thousand. I hit 1K, um, like two to three weeks into high school, actually. So that's not exactly true. So yeah, I had 1K when I had my old old logo back in the day. So now let's go ahead and go to April 15th of 2019. On this day, I. It was just a regular uh, video where I announced some new changes uh, right through the channel. This was another video just like this. Instead of saying seven years of Joey Gaming, this video was three years of Joey Gaming or was it four? I'm not exactly sure. I think it was three. Three years of Joey Gaming, right? This was back in 2019. During that time, I introduced the new logo, which is the logo that you currently see on your screen right now. A bit of a funny story about that store, about that logo. How I decided to change the logo actually involves high school again. You see, in my second semester of my freshman year of high school, I had this class. I took this class and it was graphic design or, uh, or Photoshop or something like that. I think it was graphic design at the time. I'm, I'm not exactly sure. In that class, I had, I had one of the best teachers I've ever had. And in fact, I actually went ahead and I took graphic design too, which is an illustrated class and uh, social media marketing, which I also learned a lot. That teacher is awesome. And if you're watching this video, thank you so much. You know who you are. If you're watching, thank you so much. Like this YouTube channel wouldn't exist without you. So she taught me all these things, right? She, uh, she was an awesome teacher and like, a month into our photoshopping class, we were messing with uh, gradients, uh, and I got a red, and I got a black, and I did a gradient, and I liked what the gradient looked like, and I said, hey, I want to put that gradient behind the Joey Gaming Kangaroo logo, and I had an idea, I was like, yes, I'm doing this, so I got home, I got on my computer, go on Photoshop, I took the old logo, I cut out the important stuff like the Joey Gaming stuff, right? And it's not perfect. Like you can like if you download the image and you zoom into the pixels, you can see the old some of the old red pixels, so it's not a perfect uh, cut, but it's good enough because if you're not really looking for it, you're not going to see it. And in fact, I have my YouTube page pulled up and I'm looking to see if there's any imperfections. It's not. It looks a little jed uh, jagged at the bottom but it is what it is uh, but if you're not really paying attention or looking it looks good right it looks good so I quit the logo and I said yes this is the new logo this is the new logo for Joey gaming so anyways I do that and April 15 2019 rolls around and um, I go ahead and announce some new changes and I update my YouTube logo and that's the YouTube logo that you see on your screen right now now let's go ahead and talk about the history between then and now. So before I talk about even that, I want to give you guys a little bit of history. When I was in middle school, I didn't really have a lot of friends. I didn't really socialize with a lot of people. I was shy. I wanted to change that. In high school, I said, hey, you know what? I'm going to be in the student council. I'm going to run for senior class president. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I had so many of these plans in my head what I wanted to do. So I went into high school with a plan on what I wanted to do, right? And there were some unexpected things that I didn't really expect that I'm not going to talk about right now. Uh, but it was kind of a, an interesting uh, process on how I accomplished those goals. 
in the in the uh in between my freshman year and my third semester of high school which takes place in my sophomore uh year i was fighting a secret war that none of you have ever heard about like i was fighting battles when i was making youtube videos back in september of 2019 and even before then i was fighting this war i i i don't know i was just fighting this war for myself and this is something i'm not going to go into details uh, into too much detail but i was fighting a war for myself i was fighting a lot of battles for myself and for my own future and and um uh, those wars that war that those battles were not easy whatsoever however in the end i was on top i was triumph i have won and i got my victory in september not september in 2019 my content was starting to change around this time i was starting to get into commentary right more into commentary i started talking about kappa the Kappa Apocalypse and the, uh, what's it called? The second ad apocalypse at the time, right? And that was kind of my first big commentary videos. And right, and those videos kind of inspired me to uh, pursue commentary to this day, really. Those videos, what really kicked it off, right? And I make those videos, right? I, at this During this time, I was still fighting the war, the secret war that I'm not going to give too much details about, about my personal life. In, uh, in, what's it called? Um, in 2020, right? I thought that 2020 was going to be like, uh, 2019, right? Just with better content, right? And me achieving more goals, right? And it was like January, February was basically the same. And then everyone knows the story. COVID-19 came in and shut down everything, including my school. I was actually, I was actually on a cruise when I received the news that uh, my school shut down. Yeah, and then we had to do online. So that was a whole crazy experience. So we got home, had to do online school for the remainder of the year, right? And in fact, I actually missed so much day. I, I, I spent like two weeks uh, cruising, right? In the Bahamas, I believe, right? No, it was the US Virgin Islands I was at, like near Cuba, like that area, right? And I... I actually missed so much school that I wouldn't have, I would have had to get some extra credit. I need to get some extra credit. Like I had to, like the original plan was I had to go and, um, I had to go ahead and get, um, credits to excuse that. I would have to take either summer school or Friday school where I do school at. They have a Monday through Thursday schedule. And what was crazy is that on the last day, yeah, everyone had to come in on the last day to clear out their lockers and stuff. A counselor came up to me and said, hey, Joey, I know that uh, you missed two weeks worth of school because of your cruise, but because of the pandemic, we are going to wave all that away. You just said it like that, bro. And I was like, okay, great. I don't have to worry about that, right? So that was a big W. So I didn't need to do any summer school or Friday school. So it was just kind of a big W. And during that time when I was doing online school, I was grinding away on YouTube. And honestly, those were the best memories I've ever had when I was creating content for YouTube. Like, I was doing a lot of commentary videos. I did videos on Suzy Lou, J Station. I was also in several beefs with my friends. Uh, I don't know. I was, I was joining beefs on the side of my friends. Like, uh, you know, Legend? Yeah, Legend. I was helping him make commentary videos. 2020 was a fun year, right? And then 2021 rolled around. And January of 2021 sucked and it caused a lot of mental health problems for me. Like I had a lot of mental health problems at this time. This was the first time I had, I have depression, right? Like, well, to be fair, it's not diagnosed. I haven't been diagnosed with depression, but it feels like it. But honestly, I shouldn't be saying it's depression. I, I'm just going to refer to it as mental health because I'm not going to self-diagnose, but at this time, I wasn't feeling well mentally, and I was having a lot of mental health problems. But it wasn't as bad that it wasn't super, super bad. Later, it would become super bad, but this time, it was bad, but it was handleable. So, just going through that, and uh, 
Despite me having mental health problems, in March, I decided to run to be a part of the student council. I, one day, right, I heard the news that, hey, class elections, SBO elections are, uh, are, are we, we are doing class elections. If you want to join or run to be a part of the exec or student council, go to so-and-so's class, which is Mrs. Government. Which is not a real name, but that's a name that I use for my uh, student council story times, right? I go in there, sit down, sign a bunch of paperwork, right? Saying that, yeah, I'm running. This is my current GPA. Yes, I meet all the requirements, right? And then I started running for the student council. I'm not going to go into too much details about it because I plan on making a separate video on how I won my student council election, right? I go ahead and make a video announcing that I was running to be in the student council on my YouTube channel and uh, like two to three weeks later the actual school elections happened and I won. I won, right? And I got in and I ended up controlling my school's social media and at that time that helped fight back against that negative mental health and actually for like about a month or two my mental health was quite good really because I was super happy where I was. In July, my mental health started to decline again, and it sucked. Like, it honestly really, really sucked what really happened, right? Like, it sucked. I was... My, just, my mental health, my mental well-being was not in a good place. Being in the student council helped because it reminded me of what I have accomplished, right? Like, and I'm honestly so proud what I did accomplish, honestly. Like, I look back at the exec, even though when I was having mental health problems at the time, I, I'd be like, wow, I've really done that. I really made that video for my school. I really did this. I did that. And, like, I was super happy with what I have accomplished. But during that time, I felt like crap. Like, my mental health was horrible, right? And, um, and, uh, and the reality is that half of the kids on the exec and student council I felt like I didn't really connected with them. Like, don't get me wrong, they were super nice people and they were caring and stuff, uh, but I didn't really feel, like, connected. Uh, throughout the year, it would get better, but uh, half the time, I didn't really feel connected um, um, with them. And it's because I was a shy person. Like, I don't really talk to a lot of people. And that was one of the reasons why I wanted to join the student council was to learn more social skills so I can actually um, communicate with people. I, and I actually wanted to date in high school, but I never actually have. So it's kind of crazy, right? So anyways, my senior year of school starts and everything starts really, really good, right? Like I was doing assemblies, everything's fine. And then in my second semester of senior uh, and during my senior year, right? And there's, I also had mental health problems in my, uh, first semester as well but my mental health would get so bad where my GPA would drop as low as a 2.0 and this is coming from someone that was originally a 3.8 student almost a a almost a 4.0 like I could have gotten Valen Victorian if I really pushed hard enough like I was super motivated when it comes to high school but when I had this mental health problem like it really slowed me down in high school and um and uh did it get me in trouble with the student council? Not really, because, well, you had to have a minimum GPA of a 2.5, and most of the time I was achieving that. I had, like, around a 2.6, a 2.7, but it was scary at times because my mental health would be so bad, right? And I just was so tired, and I couldn't do school. Like, I was sleeping, like, 11 to 12 hours, which is not healthy on the weekends. Like, and even, and I was working too. I was working as well at the time and I have to go to school events and school dances. And it's not that, it's just that whatever mental health problem I was having, it kind of slowed me down, you know? And, um, that's what happened. And, uh, and my mental health was really bad in my second semester of, uh, of, of, of school. But over time I was able to win, I was able to push and I was able to stay in the student council and the exec Right. Um, so that was pretty awesome. But there were some scary moments because my mental health was not well and I was having a hard time focusing in school because of it, you know. So that's what happened. And um, and uh, then I graduated from high school. I made a video announcing it. And honestly, looking back at it now, I'm honestly so pr 
impressed with what I've accomplished in high school. Like, honestly, I wish that I never had mental health problems during my senior year of school because it kind of affects me. Like, I'm going to college and my low GPA, uh, it's not good. I mean, I still got in, but I still, I have to take some, like, I have to take, like, an extra, I have to take, like, an online class because my GPA was so low. And that's because of my um, mental health affecting my schoolwork and kind of sucks, bro. Like, I know, like... I'm a, th I'm like a 3.0 student, but a 3.8 actually be more accurate, right? In my junior year, right? It just kind of sucked. So I don't know. And then the summer of uh, 2022, it was all right. Like I didn't really have any mental health problems really. And uh, in April, nothing really big has happened yet. It's just business as usual, really. So I don't know. Something interesting is probably not going to really happen between now and then. So, I don't know. It's kind of crazy. So, that's all I have to say. Before I go ahead and talk about the other new announcement, I actually have a video that I want to play that actually highlights the best moments of Joey Gaming between 2019 and 2023. So, without any further, further ado, here is that video. <laughs> Today I have a story time video. I was going to do the Minecraft Halloween aquarium video, but I canceled that because I'm not going to have enough time to, to do that video. So I'm doing this instead. Anyways, um, guys, um, and, um, if you don't want, if you don't know what the SCP Foundation is, the SCP Foundation is a fictional foundation. It's, it's a place and it's like Area 51, but they keep like monsters, like aliens and. Hey guys, um, here's my quick two minute, uh, tour on my new gaming setup, uh, I guess you can begin by the computer, by, the computer, uh, by itself, um, Susie Lou, the latest D-bag on YouTube, right after J-Station, okay? So in my uh, channel March update video, I said that there's going to be a big announcement coming on the 15th. Well, it's currently the 17th of March and I'm kind of two days late. I want to apologize and say, hey, it's, I've been pretty busy, especially with the thing I'm working on. You already read the title, probably, so I'll get in more detail. I'm running for the student body council at my high school. So on the 15th, well actually the 17th, I released a video announcing that I'm running for the student body council for my uh, high school. Today, I'm happy to announce that I've officially won the election. Oh, it's so cold. All aboard! All aboard! Quantum TV and the Ackman were beefing it out for a little while, and then the Ackman started exposing the Quantum TV past, and he exposed Quantum TV for being a homophobic he was being exposed for being a racist in today's video i have some great news that i want to share with you guys 
I want to let you guys know that I am officially graduated from high school, and I'm going to be telling you guys what this means for the Joey Gaming YouTube channel. We're going to be talking about the new YouTube CEO and why I personally don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. <laughs> right here, this is how you turn a misdemeanor into a felony. Because I'm not sure if many of you guys are aware of this, but here in the United States, it's a felony to actually escape confinement or imprisonment or whatever. So uh, yeah, you just broke the law. You're 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 going to federal prison for that, unfortunately. So yeah, probably not the best thing you can ever do. Also, the dude that let the guy go. Yeah, let's hope that you didn't have your face show up in the video because. The police will probably come after you just as much as this guy. So, yeah, word of advice, don't do this. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed that segment of the video where I show you the best moments of Joey Gaming between 2019 and 2023. And now, the moment that you guys have been waiting for. The announcement for Joey Gaming. I hereby officially declare a new era of Joey Gaming. You may, be, you may be wondering to yourself right now, what does this mean? Well, a new era of Joey Gaming means that the channel is going to enter a new era, basically. I'm first going to be starting off by giving the channel a new coat of paint. Right now, all the social media is being updated to this new logo. Here it is on the screen right now. This is the new official Joey Gaming logo for the channel of Joey Gaming. This will be applied to my Twitter, my Instagram, TikTok, and basically everywhere that isn't like a side channel like, you know, Joey, like that isn't a side social media platform like Joey Gaming Studios or whatever. I'm also going to come out with a new YouTube banner, which you guys can probably see right now, if, assuming that it's been updated yet, but we'll have to see on that. But that's not the only change. I have also a I also have a new YouTube bio and I'm going to read it off to you guys right now. Joey Gaming is a gaming and commentary channel. I do videos on gaming news, Minecraft roleplays, story times, let's plays. I'm also known for live streams and YouTube shorts. I believe in perseverance even in the hardest of times. My goal for my channel for the next five years is to make the is to make the YouTube community a more positive place in the world. And at the very top, I have a new slogan, and this is also applying to my banner. That new slogan is winning through perseverance. Like I mentioned previously, I have some sort of undiagnosed mental health problem. I don't know what it is. It could be depression. It could be bi dipo uh, bipolar. Don't know what it is. I'm not going to self-diagnose. I don't believe in that. However, I do have something, and I will say that. Right now, I'm fighting an enemy, an adversary that is the hardest adversary I have ever fought. And that hardest adversary is my mental health. I've never fought an enemy so strong, so tough, and so willing to defeat me. But it will not win, because... Mental illness has picked the wrong person. I believe in perseverance. Even even if I don't win tomorrow, if, even if I don't win today, I will win tomorrow. And if I don't, it's always next week and always next month and even the next year. I believe in perseverance and pushing through no matter what. And this new era of Joey Gaming is going to focus on that. What I mean by perseverance is that no matter how small no matter how long it takes, I will get through it and I will grow my channel and we will have another golden 
era of Joey Gaming. This will not be, it will not be easy. In fact, it's going to be tough. But in the end, it's all going to be worth it. Once I climb to the top and I beat my mental illness, Joey Gaming will have another golden era, like in 2020. And honestly, I'm genuinely very, very excited. During this new era of YouTube, I'm going to hopefully be in college, going for a computer science degree, making friends in college, expanding my YouTube channel, and expanding to other social media platforms and my other and, uh, and my other YouTube channels, such as Joey Gaming Studios and Joey's Adventures. I will upload as much as I can to those channels while uploading daily to this YouTube channel. It's going to be hard to upload every day. It's going to be hard to go and make content, especially when I feel wor the worst I have ever felt in my whole life. But I will push through it. I will defeat my, my own mental health. You may be my worst enemy, but you, you will be what makes me the strongest person I've ever known. So with that, I'm ending this segment of the video. Back to Joey in Minecraft. Okay, that sounded cringe. All right, to finish off the seven years of Joey Gaming anniversary video, I want to announce a couple more Minecraft roleplays. Since that this new part of this video is here, and by now you already know that well, um, we're, new, we're in a new era of Joey Gaming. And to start this new era off, I thought that maybe we should do a Minecraft roleplay that I thought was super interesting, but I've never finished. The, the Minecraft Titanic roleplay. That's not the official name. I'm trying to come up with an actual name because it isn't just about that. I'm planning on making a Minecraft roleplay that talks about the whole story of Titanic and her sister ships. So this is a new Minecraft roleplay under construction and uh, it's going to take place on Java Edition and there's going to be a lot of shaders involved. And I already started building, we got some people involved and it's already looking beautiful. I actually thought about sharing a screenshot but it's not ready yet. It's going to be huge. Uh, more news about this very, very, very soon. I also want to come out and announce that I am now working on a, I'm also working on a Five Nights at Freddy's Minecraft roleplay, but I will announce that later this summer. Also, don't forget about Minecraft Pink Sheep Hater Wars. That's also a, be a big thing for uh, the summer as well. So stay tuned for more information regarding that. With that out of the way, thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe, and thanks for sticking with Joey Gaming for seven years. See ya. Peace.